All right, folks, here's a piece of camping gear that we received. And I'm gonna unbox it right quick with the help of Janice. 2600 milliamp battery. What's the brand is this? LE Lighting Ever. We're trying to bulk up our lighting package for the camping trip. All right, so we, we use my leg as a table. Okay. Oh, look at that. Got a nice little handle. Looks like a power button right there. Okay, yeah, there you go. So this thing's already charged. It's a power button right there. Looks like you got a USB. Okay, so you got two dim levels, bright, dim, off, with that button right there. And that's pretty sturdy. For that guy there. Wow, now that is a pretty good piece of gear. That damn thing is bright. Then you press it again, it cuts off the half. You press it again, it goes to red. Press it again. Oh, is it a flasher? Yeah. Looking for us, you can't see because you ladies are in the way. She's <laughs> sitting here patiently. <laughs> ladies, move out of the way so the boy can see the TV. Sorry, Sorry about that, son. Man, he's like old in there. Folks, got Janice out here making breakfast. Good morning, baby. Still wearing my bathing suit, I see. Oh, yeah, baby, cooking up some pancakes. Awesome, folks. She's using the Lodge reversible grill slash griddle on the G-Walk. Now, look at this. This is a beautiful day. We actually got some sunshine today. So we're hoping that these draws are going to dry out here on the clothesline underneath the guava tree the guava tree actually has some guavas on it start producing some more guavas unless Fatima's already plucked them off now you got three little small ones there a couple big ones oh oh right over there look at those pancakes folks now honey is this the pancake mix from uh cracker barrel got sent to us from the states in our balik bayan box john and marie thank you all very much because I'm going to tell you what, those pancakes are delicious. Especially coming off this uh, cast iron griddle. Good job, Janice. You may carry on. <laughs> so here's the cooker set up. We, we put the uh, induction cooker in here to replace uh, the G-Walk. Just got too hot. I had to move it outside. Like I said, folks, this thing works. Previous cooking videos, I've used this thing. But it does not work. It, it, it just won't heat up the uh, cast iron skillet hot enough. Um, I don't know. I don't think it has enough wattage. Maybe if it had a higher wattage, it'd be, be okay to cook. I mean, it'll get the job done, but it's too slow. But when it's raining, it's coming a monsoon. That's better than nothing for the indoor operation. But outside is where it's at. Got a little flood in here. Road too long, folks. Not too deep. We'll be able to make it. <laughs> the low ready and the high ready position. As soon as they open up the line here, I gotta go into the battle ready position. Right, there you go. You need the information on. Had to register to get the get the Rona shot. There you go, right there. Tinyurl.com/slash/codebacksregistry. All right, folks. So here's your look around the SM. It's pretty much dead. Just come in here and walk around, enjoy some air conditioning. Tried to go to the Apple store. Ah, no, thank you, bro. Tried to go to the Apple store, and uh, you got to, first thing you do, pull out the iPad. Sir, you got to sign in for the, whatever the app is. And fuck, i like, fuck that, man. You got a Mac Mini in stock, yes or no? No, okay, I'm leaving. But I do need a cable. I need a USB-C to USB-C. Cable. Let me s ah, fucking just order it on the Lazada. Now, if you're looking for a to-go office, 
that two good office is open i'm gonna tell you just a second what the guy told me and this fax parcel print was a place i used to come get copies done but it looks like they're still closed at least they're closed right now they've been closed is that lbc open doesn't uh, i don't know but the two go the two go right there is open and i'll tell you what the gentleman told me about taking a ferry down to cebu what he just said but i think you just want to get out of here you just want to get out of here it's bad enough you got to go through the process of getting in here getting your temperature scan all that fucking horse shit and then you go to an individual store and they want to fuck with you again it's like come on i already got fucked with to get inside the building i don't need any more fucking with that rolling with fatima janice out in the taxi with force g I figured I'd bring Fatima in here and give her the latest news firsthand from the to-go guy, because obviously she wants to go visit in the village. But if she wants to go, she's going to have to go check Cebu Pacific or Philippine Air or whoever, see what the airlines say. Non-essential people right now are not allowed to take the ferry. He said we'll revisit that, at the, or they'll get a new memo the first of the month. And maybe they'll allow non-essential again. And he said when they were allowing non-essential, kids could ride the ferry. But now it's only essential people can ride the ferry, at least down to Cebu. That's the latest. Look at China Bank. And folks, this new SM is really nice. I mean, it's just really nice, brand new building. X-Force G. Oh, he was missing mama. That's good she got him out instead of cooping him up in the cab. You hey, okay, baby? Yeah, this play, you're playing. You just playing? Yeah. All right. So there's you go, there you go, folks. Here's a look at the new SM here in Alongapo. It's a great place. Other than the fact you got to wear that goddamn grinding helmet. Look like an idiot. Man, when are they going to give up this shit? This country, probably never. <laughs> Forrest G's getting a little rambunctious in the back. He's tired of riding already. And think, think about think about Forrest G. As long as the car is rolling, he's okay. But like when we get stopped in traffic, he gets uh, restless. You see the accident or somebody ain't got no gas in it. That's sad right there. I was just reading that headstone and I believe it said the child was five years old. Let me see. April 21, 1991 and died February 1, 1997, five years old. My goodness. That's gotta be so hard to lose a child. Got 5-0 on the scene. No, it's a crash. Oh, loud. Oh, loud. That little, that little SUV crashed into that little box, little tiny box truck. My goodness. Folks, there's the room rates here for uh, Sabiza. Discounted room rates. There's your day tour info. Hope you can read that. All right. Caught up behind the seeing me beer truck. I think we got a Kuya hanging out the side there. Is that a Kuya? Oh, yeah, we got a Kuya hanging out the side there. There he is. We got a Kuya hanging on the side. Look, 720 pesos on our laundry. Now, if you watch yesterday's video, we brought them four, uh, four huge bags of laundry, and it was soaking wet because... You know, it's just been raining on the, they've been sitting on the clothesline for days and raining. So they were soaking wet. 720 pesos, that's roughly um, 7, 720. The thing about these ladies is they weigh it after they're done. So, you know, it was soaking wet. If I'd have took it anywhere else, they would have weighed it before. And it would have been twice that much only because it was, you know, it was wet. So I want to thank these ladies here 
They do the laundry at Sabiza. They took care of us. Maybe that pot's bigger than you are. Is it heavy? Put it on your head. Let's see if it fits a good hat. All right, folks, we picked up a pot. That little walk will fit the G-Walk. So now the G-Walk has got a G-Walk. We're gonna do some real hardcore stir frying this bad boy. All right, folks, got a letter from uh, one of you guys out there. Cool. Picking here in the market for uh, 195 right there. That's about four bucks. Here's some fish over here, shrimp. It's not the ideal time, half the folks aren't set up. Gotta get some potatoes, cause Janet's gonna make me some french fries. I bought that new, we got that new pot, so they're gonna try to make some fish, some stinky fish, the tuyo. I said, all right, make me a chicken sandwich and some french fries, and you ladies can go outside and cook that old smelly fish. Show everybody what's the tuyo and tell us how much it is, baby. 40. Okay, 20 pesos for that? Yeah. We just need one? No. How many you need? One, it's not enough for me. Oh, one for Ate, one for me. Uh, get a couple more, babe. We got a big pot. Get two more. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I'm sweet today. Look at the dogs and cats coexisting here in the market. My goodness, what's the world coming to? Back in my day, dogs would chase cats. Not anymore. World's getting soft. This dude must be wearing skinny jeans. All right, how much? 148. Okay, so 148 for the potatoes and some tuyo. Janice said, honey, will you buy me the mango? I said, listen, that's exactly what Fatima whispered to you. Fatima whispered to her, hey, tell him, try to get him to buy the mango. This fruit, oh, that's fresh honey right there. I find out how much the honey is. How much is the honey? Honey, sir, 120? Yeah. 120? Let me check that out. I'm gonna have to get some of that honey. There you go. All right, what we got going on out here, Janice? Oh, well, well, I was. Why me? This is the food, not me. Well, I'm just checking out that dress, baby. Oh, yeah, folks, look at them French fried taters. In the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker that's made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. My goodness, this uh, new aluminum pot is probably well, it could be made in Philippines, but if I had to, well, maybe it may be local, maybe made here in the Philippines. If not, well, it's straight out of Beijing. Come on, but uh. Maybe it was locally made. Mm, the smell coming off there, folks. Just delicious. Oh, and she already made you already made the chicken, right? Alright, so let me Oh, there's a chicken. I didn't even see that. She's already got the chicken finished. And here's a close-up at the stinky fish. Maybe can I ask a question? Are you gonna cook that tuyo? Yeah, I cook Okay, you're not gonna cook the tuyo in my large 3.2 quart yeah, cast iron. Okay, you're gonna cook it in this uh, aluminum thing, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, I wanna capture that on video, but I wanna do it from a distance because I don't wanna smell that baby. And we got one more issue too. What? You see these clothes hanging on the line? That's could not you, yet dry. Yeah, could you please take down my favorite scarf over there and anything that belongs to me? <laughs> no, I don't want it to smell like Puyo. Honey, if you cook that fish here, everything on that line is gonna get fumigated and Why? it's gonna smell You're, like fish. You think the chicken is not smell bad? Maybe, listen, the fried chicken and these taters smell delicious. I don't mind my scarf smelling like oh, yes. fried chicken and potatoes, okay? But I don't want my, my scarf smelling like fish. Everything in there, it smells bad. Look at the, the plants in there. Okay, folks, they planted some plants and our neighbor actually next door she she has a green thumb all oh, that's her gardening but they planted some plants and they said they got some buds already oh they sure do check them out got some right there that dude right there 
Now, obviously, we already had that, but they've got a couple buds coming up. Little blooms, buds, whatever you want to call them. And I'm not sure what that is. They didn't write it down on there, so I'm not sure they know which one it is. Who knows? Here. You got to get that sticker off of there somehow. You know, like why? Oh, that was too easy. Now, if you put it there, in three weeks, it's going to be hard to get that thing off the wall. No. Yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get rid of it. Folks, look at the size of this pot. I bought this pot for a couple reasons. I mean, number one, so they could cook their stinky fish in this it. This is not, I told, the one I told to you, it's, they have a handle. Yeah, but the handles were too small. Yeah, that's, it's okay for that to you. No, they had no entertainment value. <laughs> this thing here, this big thing has got some serious entertainment value to it. Entertainment oh, look at, value. Yeah, look at the size of this guy. Kawa. Kawa. <laughs> But you know what? We can take this big thing to the beach and put it right on top of some coals or a fire. I could probably put three chickens in there and fry them at the same time. So that's that's a big Mac Daddy. And they had a big old uh, soup pot. I'm talking big, huge soup pot. But it was like 3,500 pesos. That was too much. But I could cook a lot of, a lot of chicken. What, baby? What's the favor, honey? What is the favor, baby? Huh? Put it right there? Okay, where's my glove? No gloves. Okay, well how am I gonna pick it up then? <laughs> wait, I'll find out. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait while this is cooling down. Oh, it's not even cooling down. She still got the heat on it. Yeah, folks, I'm telling you, what a great decision. Even with the monsoon rain, the rain coming down. Great decision to move this G-Walk outside. So much cooler in the house. You know, we do a lot of cooking, so this thing uh, just heats up the living room like a champion. Now we're outside, it's much cooler. Marquitos, turn off that. Turn off the fire. Okay, now I understand. Turn off the gas. Okay, she wants me to turn it off. All right, so I understood that. Okay, good job ladies so anyhow it works much better outside and once the rain stops folks it's just so cool um you know somebody said something about uh hey man you're wearing jeans on the beach or whatever folks it's like nice and cool it's like san diego weather right now it's not balls hot because of this rain after a good rain it's just nice and chill oh yeah look at them fries Here we go. Honey, this is so big. Baby, baby, listen. Listen. Can you listen to Big Daddy? You ready to listen? No. Okay, are you ready to listen? Yes. Yeah. Okay. You're missing a part. Okay. That's the small thing for the small pot. Put that big trivet on there, baby. Now put your pot on there, baby. Now look at that, see? When you listen to Big Daddy, good things happen, move, baby. Move, move, move. Oh, yeah. Did you turn up the gas? No. No, I just turned this off. Let's see if we can get a tune out of that trombone. Fire it up, baby. There you go. Oh, look at all that heat. The G-Walk on the big walk. Folks, take a look at that. Yeah. Baby, why don't you put some water in there and boil it and clean it up first? You don't want to You don't want to put any water in there and boil it? Huh? It just I'll came straight out of the factory. Ah, oh, baby, now you're worried about the time to get to the dentist. Good job. Not me. Poor Ate, because you need to eat. Okay, but listen, I'm going to tell you, if I were the dentist, I would not want my patients eating Tuyo an hour before they go come no, to the dentist, you're not honey. Allowed if, you're not, if you finish the dentist, you're not allowed there. It too bad smell, but now you're allowed. I know, but the poor dentist has to smell this bad smell. It's okay. Oh, look at that, folks! See now, now we're getting the full Ready power 
of the G Walk. My goodness. Look at that big Mac Daddy. All right, baby. Go to work. Go to work. Let's show people how you cook the Tuyo. Now say it. Tuyo. 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 There you go, folks. This is the stinky fish. Now there's many fish, many things that these ladies cook that are horrible, but this is pretty stinky right here. Oh my God. Oh Lord. You know what that smells like? I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Okay, what this smells like is, uh, say you've been wearing the same socks in a rainstorm for like eight days and you haven't taken off your shoes and then you take off your shoes and you pull those socks off and you put them in a bowl and pot of water that's what it smells like it smells like the most funky bad sock feet smell out of any human being that's just a oh my god holy shit. folks it's fucking horrible i'm not gonna lie to you honey i thought you were supposed to be eating the tuyo i'm not eating this that's for forky oh forky eating that Mm. Oh, folks, oh my God, it's, it's horrible, ladies. <laughs> Honey, I got, I gotta go in, I gotta go inside, and I gotta close the door. I'm, I'm, I'm serious. That's just, holy <laughs> shit, that is horrible. <laughs> my gosh. He's too busy on his book over here. I suspect that you're eating some of his food. And folks, I would really like to go out there and film how she is making that, that fish. But to you, to you. I don't know how they say it. But I'm not exaggerating, look. I'm not exaggerating. That whole backyard is fumigated right now. It's like somebody set off a smoke bomb, a smoke grenade. Uh, but that's a stink grenade. It's like they set it off. It's fumigating. I bet you if I walked around the side of the house, I could probably smell it at the front of the house. I can't go back out there. It's that bad. However, the number one nastiest smell you've ever smelled in your life is when these ladies <laughs> cook the baga on on the stove. You know, or they cook the baga on. It's like, my God, honey. Folks, she just opened that door and looked outside, and, and I'm, I'm standing here about to throw up. That's how bad it is. I'm telling you. Get, I'm serious, honey. It's horrible. Okay, the baga on is 10 times as bad as the stinky, uh, wet, fermented sock fish feet out there. The baga on, and if you're eating, stop the video. Just stop the video. Don't listen to me if you're eating or about to eat. Because when I describe the baga on, it smells like some like 30 people threw up in a pot and then you put that pot over some heat and turned up the heat and it started bubbling. That's what it smells like. Honey, you're about to make me sick in here with that smell. You eating something but smell Hey, can I ask you a question? Did you, did you use my barbecue tools? That's my stainless steel barbecue <laughs> tools made in America. Why are, you, why are you asking me to buy the toyo then you complain again now? Honey, listen. I bought you <laughs> your pot. <laughs> I don't know if I'll get that stench out of that stainless steel or not. What's that baby? <laughs> You're talking about another another type of fish. I like tuna baby. Dry, but you eating something that's not dry. It's only 
Okay, listen, I got an idea. Uh, next time you cook the tuyo, can you go over to the neighbor's house to cook it? Yeah. Can I tell you something, sir? Yeah, go ahead. Why I go to the neighbor's house if I have a house? Because of bad smell. <laughs> All right, are you finished cooking out there? Yes. All right, let's take a look. Take a look. No, take a look. I'm going to take a look. I'm going to hold your breath. Where's the shit? Oh. Oh, shit. Open that. Which, baby? Oh, you come here. I'm holding my breath. You open it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, the whole yard is fumigated. <coughs> oh, disgusting. Why are you still looking? Oh, why are you still looking? Why are you still smell? <laughs> Folks, the, the things I do to bring you quality entertainment. <sighs> Now, folks, my well intentioned plans about them cooking this outside. They cooked it outside. But what did they do? They brought this madness in here and stood over there and ate and it still fumigated the uptown bungalow. It stinks so bad in here. I mean, it's just making my stomach queasy. I mean, I, I hate to keep going on and on about it, but I'm just sharing with you my frustrations and feelings and hardships over this uh, stinky fish situation. It's just not good. It's just uh, hor absolutely horrible. They love to eat it. I mean, uh, I don't know why. It's obviously an acquired taste. You know, they've been eating it since they were young, but it's not something, it's not something that you are gonna say, oh yeah, I'm in the Philippines. Let me try some tuyo. No. Hell no. Okay, now I gotta stand outside for a little while while the inside airs out. So, how did the new walk do? Well, looks like it did pretty good. All right, Force G, we'll be back in a few minutes, buddy. How's the forest G? It's sleepy. Okay, copy. All right, folks, I'm ready to reach from the beach over to the uptown bungalow. These little knockoff Motorola's. And what did I say they're branded? Branded Motrobla. I think Motrobla on uh, Taobao, the Chinese site that sells all that knockoff shit. Then they just take a sticker and put Motorola on it and then brand it as a 40 watt radio. <laughs> they work okay, but they're just little small walkie talkies. They're not 40 watt fucking ham radios like they're marketed. They'll reach about, uh, in this urban environment, they'll reach about a kilometer, kilometer and a half. Here's a look at Subic Bay for today. And I'm kind of bummed out because, now granted, this, this whole week, the weather's been kind of crazy. It's been windy, it's been wavy. And yesterday, the decision was made to scrub our camping truck due to weather. Uh, the boat crew, and you know, you gotta trust their judgment. The boat crew said, hey look, there's a low pressure system coming in, something like that. And they said it just wasn't safe to get over there with the wind and the waves and much gear as we're uh, as we're toting. But folks, today, look at this. I mean, we could go right now. But granted, yesterday there were no boats out. But today, I see a couple boats uh, buzzing around on the bay, and we can make it over there to our campsite. I can see the campsite from here. It's just to the left of Hanjin over there, Kennebuxen Beach or Kennebuxen Island. So I'm a little bit bummed out about that. 
Fatima just got done with her dentist appointment and her she didn't need as much treatment as Janice did but it's only because I took her to the dentist like a year and a half two years ago and got a lot of work done on this girl so she was already she got fixed up two years ago so little four she's back at the crib sleeping wife number two is on duty on station over there so we decided to just take a little walk here on the beach and see what's going down but look at this you know i'm almost tempted well i will i'm gonna hit eric up after i get off this phone and say hey man well nah folks we just postpone it we'll postpone it until uh about a week from now and we'll try it again but during the rainy season in this region, this is what you deal with, you know. It's going to rain every day. The rain is okay, but when you got wind and waves and stuff like that, you obviously can't go out on a boat. We've conceded to the fact that once we get to the campsite, we are going to get rained on. It's the rainy season. It's like Miami in the summer. You know, you got to get drowned for two, three hours every afternoon, and then it, it's okay. Why you look so cute today, baby? Can you take off that uh, bullshit device off your face for the beach? <laughs> take it off, baby. All right, now you look beautiful. You know what's always interesting here in the Philippines, this region, Southeast Asia, is like, you never know what people are gonna offer to sell you on a daily basis. No, I'm not talking about when you're walking past the market. You know, you're walking past some shops. I'm talking about when you are walking down the street or walking on the beach uh just everyday life and all of a sudden somebody shoves something in your face right now this this cat over there he's a, he's over there hiding behind the boat now for some reason but we're just walking along he's not a normal vendor and all of a sudden he just reaches in the bag and pulls out like a, a knockoff android like Psst. hey buddy want to buy a cell phone uh, no thanks brother but that just reminded me that on the way over here, we're just like walking along, you know, and this woman just out of the blue shoves a crab in my face. You know what I mean? You wanna buy a crab? So, <laughs> you know, not that it's a big deal, but you're just walking along thinking about, all right, we gotta get up there, we'll be late for the appointment, blah, blah, blah. And all of a sudden, boom, it's a big old crab. You wanna buy a crab? Like, no, I don't, want, <laughs> I don't need a crab right now. Anyhow, thought I'd share that with you. That's what makes life interesting. Baby, you wanna take a walk out to the to the end of this thing? Why not, baby? Maybe the cold back. Maybe what? Cold back. No, we're not gonna fall down, baby. Why you it looks pretty sturdy. I've been out there before. And when I was out there before, well the last time I was there. Some dude came out there and run us off of there. I don't know who owns this or why he did it, but there was just a Kuya out there. Let's go take a walk. Honey, there's a saying that says, it's much easier to ask for forgiveness than to beg for permission. You ever heard that? <laughs> In other words, we walk out to the end of the thing. If somebody yaks us, we just say, oh, we're sorry, we didn't know. And I'll say I'm not from Subic B. I didn't know. What 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 does that mean? Bawal mo. Oh, don't put the trash, right? Bawal na po sa ilalim ng tulay. What's that mean? Don't go underneath. Yeah. Okay, but well, there's nothing that says don't go on top. And maybe there's a sign over here. All right, let's check it. Was. Okay, look, what, translate the sign for me. What does that mean? You can't jump in the ocean? But you can go there. Huh? That means you can't go there. Okay. 
Yeah, damn, but I rent 10 tins over here. All right, so this is a, what's it called? Driftwood Beach. Come on, baby, let's go. Let's walk on the wild side, let's do it. <laughs> she's so cute, but she's so scared of getting in trouble, getting yacked at. 